Hello and welcome to the VTS POG plugin tutorial. Today we're going to be going over the installation of the VTS POG plugin for VTube Studio so you can get text to speech working for your models. As you can see here, I have the VTS POG plugin downloaded on my desktop. You're going to want to open this up and put it in a folder. Here I've named it VTS POG. So just unzip it and put it in here. Now that I have the plugin unzipped, I'm going to go ahead and open it and you can take a look inside. Make sure you have VTube Studio open and then you're going to want to open up the VTS POG plugin. As you can see that's popped up over my screen now, VTS POG is wanting access to VTube Studio, which you're going to want to allow. Let's go ahead and explore the plugin. If you hit play text, you will hear your model speaking, however you won't see it because it's not set up in VTube Studio quite yet. Pog Online Poggers. Just a little further down, you can choose between using Stream Elements or Amazon Poly. If you choose Amazon Poly, you're going to need to log in with your credits. Otherwise, just stick to Stream Elements. Over on the Options tab, you're going to see a banned words list. Here, let's test the banned word list by using the word hello, and the filter severity will be on strict. Now, if we go ahead and test the restricted word, it won't go through. Boop, boop, boop. Now let's head back over to the options. Here you will see the channel points character limit, the bits character limit, the minimum bits limit, the sub character limit, and the max audio length in seconds. For the point redeem name, we'll go over on how to set that up on another video. For the command, you can set up a command that can be used by either your chat or mods and also add a cooldown. As you can see, you can set up a hotkey to go to the next in the queue or disable TTS. There's also a button up here to disable TTS as well. If you go into Calibrate, you'll see some options for the model parameters to adjust the frequency gain and volume gain. There's also some information down here if you have some trouble with the program. If we click on History and click Load Latest Redeems, you'll see all the different redeems that we've loaded in the past. When your chat starts to redeem things, it will pop up here. If for some reason a redeem didn't go through or you want to hear it again, you can come to the history, find it, and hit add to queue and it'll play it again. Pog Online Poggers. If you come up here and click on the settings button, you'll see the option to change your output device. Typically, it being set on select audio source is your default device, which should work. Although I have a bit more complicated setup, so I use other things. Finally, you can hit apply and save. If you need to close the plugin, make sure instead of hitting the X, you hit the shutdown plugin button, otherwise it will stay minimized.